here, the, the way we do it is by just feeding here constantly, continuously, they learn that this is a good place to be. So the, the, the location of the reinforcer becomes uh, an actual cue to what we want from the behavior. And then we can add the, uh, the, heel, the heel cue later. See right there, I don't want that. So I can start the second phase, which is when she catches up to you, you feed. So I drop the leash, heel, okay, and I do that. And now she's starting to get a little bit more. The next do the third phase coming around, that's a really hard one. So now we put it all together. Heel. Yes. Heel. So heel. She catches up to you. Yes. Okay, right here. That's my fat, my fault. Heel. Heel. Yes. Watch your fingers. This is how you do it with food, not using any force in the leash or threat of punishment. Heel. Yes. You get her to fit it in. There you go. That's what you want. Heel. Yes. We can use barriers to help her understand where we want her. Like this. Heel. Heel. Yes. And to back up with us, we use the barrier as well. And then with the food, you start feeding less and less, or actually having her walk more and more without the food present, and rewarding 10 feet of walking with you in heel position. And then 20 feet, it's more and more.